Hey everyone, it's Amber, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This review is going to be completely spoiler free, so you can stay for the whole time and join the party of this wonderful book. So, whether you have or haven't read this book, you can still stay for the whole entire time. So, to start out this review, can we just like admire the book itself? Because it is gorgeous. The front cover, just the font is beautiful, everything is beautiful about this book. And the spine and the back. I'm sure you've all seen the inside. But on aesthetic alone, this book gets like 5 out of 5 stars. It gets like 10 out of 5 stars, let's be real, okay? So, on to the synopsis. This book follows a girl named Andy, and she just, she's the type of person that kind of just plans everything out ahead of time. And her dad's a politician, and there ends up being this scandal with her dad that ends up kind of throwing her summer that she had already planned out off balance. And then after that, she ends up walking dogs and meeting this adorable guy named Clark who is beautiful and so cute and I'll tell you more about him later but and then things kind of just go from there. So Clark is the love interest in this novel and it's pretty obvious from the moment he comes in that he is going to be the love interest um, and he writes fantasy novels and we do get to see little snippets of his novels in the book and that I love that part of this book because that kind of reminded me of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, if you've read that. Um, Kath's fanfiction, like you get to see parts of it. So that was sort of the same thing with this. You did get to see little snippets of Clark's um, novels, and it was so cute. But anyways, he is an author, and he writes fantasy novels. Clark is definitely one of my new book bays because he is just so lovable and adorable. He's just one of those characters that just, just love him. I just love him so much. So. If you weren't sold on this book, like from the start, because for me, I read, I'd only read one Morgan Matson book, which was Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour, and I really, really loved that book, but I wasn't completely sold on, like, the plot of this book for some reason, like, it didn't really catch me, but then I didn't even know that Clark, like, that there was a fantasy element, I guess, to this book, and that really sold me on it, so if you're not really a contemporary kind of person like me, then definitely pick this up and see how you like it because Clark really adds a different element to this book that fantasy lovers and like people that aren't really too into contemporary books will really 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 enjoy and that's why I think that's the reason that I really 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 loved this book. But while Andy was not really relatable for me at all, she was she's not really similar to me and many ways. I mean, I found some things about her that kind of are similar to how I am, but most of the way that she is isn't really how I am. But even though Andy was not really a relatable character, she has this awesome group of friends that you can definitely find one of them to relate to. And this book is about the friendship more so than the romance. The romance does play a major role in the story, but the friendship is more like central to the plot, if you get what I'm saying. And her friends are awesome, and my favorite is probably Toby. She was so funny, and she texted in like all emojis, and there are lots of emojis in this book, which was super duper cool. So that's also another cool thing. There are always really cool things in Maureen Matson books, and I really, really love that, and I think that's why I love her as a contemporary author. Contemporaries don't tend to like hold my attention as much as fantasy and other books like that, but when they have an extra element, like the added fantasy excerpts and emojis or like a playlist like Amy Rogers Epic Detour has, then that really does kind of sell me on the book and make me love it that much more. This book is perfect for summer. There are scavenger hunts, pool parties, and like morning restaurant trips, and it's just so much, there's a, so much friendship in this book and it's so great because you really don't see that a lot in YA in general. Like it's mostly the romance that's more central and the friendship kind of takes a back seat when the romance starts to pick up, but honestly this, the friendship didn't directly take a back seat when the romance was picking up more between Clark and Andy. I loved all the dogs and all the dog parts because I love dogs. I love animals in general. I was more of a cat person when I was a little kid, but now like I love cats and dogs pretty much equally and I cannot choose. So as I mentioned before, there were emojis in this book and I would honestly find myself like flipping through the book and kind of like searching to when the next emoji part would be and I'm not gonna lie me and my sister only texted in emojis for like two weeks after I read this book because I just wanted to see if I could do it so I really appreciate that Morgan Matson kind of incorporated that into this book because that's how people text 
nowadays and it's nice to see that kind of translated onto the page rather than it just being words. So if you're really into contemporary or like you really want a nice summary book or a nice romance or a great book about friendship and adventure, then definitely, definitely pick this book up. This is definitely my favorite Morgan Matson book I've read so far, even though I've only read two, that's including this one. The other one was Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour, as I mentioned earlier. I definitely like this more than I liked Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour and it was so great. I did love Amy Ron's Second Teacher though. So as expected, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. If you like my pun, I know you do. I really enjoyed it, and even if you don't like contemporary, I'm sure that you will enjoy this book because it was the perfect summer read, and I really, really loved it. That was it for my review of The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've read the book, please feel free to discuss it down below, but don't spoil people. Warn for spoilers. Um, or you can DM me on Twitter and we can discuss it together because I really enjoyed it and we can fangirl about how much we love Clark. So if you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!